Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently in the stable version of Windows, Copilot can perform a couple of different functions when it comes to settings and capabilities in the OS. So as an example, you can ask Copilot to toggle your dark or light theme. You can ask it to change your background image and you can ask it to launch an application. Just to mention a couple of examples and another one is you can ask uh, Copilot as an example and just to demonstrate to take a screenshot. Now, as I have noticed with taking a screenshot, um, I think it's a lot quicker just to actually just go Windows Shift and S on your keyboard as opposed to asking Copilot to uh, take a screenshot because it does take a couple of seconds to respond and I found that the time it takes to actually respond I could have just gone Windows Shift and S and the job would have been done but obviously as an accessibility feature um, asking Copilot to to, uh, to take a screenshot could be a nice move in the right direction. Now when it comes to um, Copilot capabilities and features it seems that with our next annual feature update, Windows 11 version 24H2, that um, Microsoft will add improvements for Copilot in Windows with our annual Windows 11 2024 update. Now, this is because uh, in uh, the latest Canary and Dev Channel build that rolled out last week, build 26058, which I did post on, and I'll leave that video down below, Microsoft now has um, updated the actual blog post um, where they say they are trying out a new runtime for Copilot in Windows that will allow you to manage more settings via Copilot, which are mainly settings that include accessibility-focused settings and user power automate desktop through Copilot. Now, I'm just going to focus on the, um, the actual capabilities that can be used via Copilot in Windows that are now being tested in the Dev and Canary channel, which could be rolling out with our annual feature update. And just to mention these capabilities now that are being tested in the Insider program. Now, I'm just going to go through these quickly. So over and above what we currently get in the stable version, as I showed you in a couple of examples at the start of this video, um, the next annual feature update now being tested in the uh, Canary and Dev channels um, will include asking for available wireless networks for system device information, for battery information. You'll be able to ask Copilot to clean storage, empty your recycle bin, toggle battery saver, show startup apps, um, ask for your IP address, ask for system device or storage information. So those are a couple of the system settings that you will be able to sort of um, uh, apply using Copilot. And then when it comes to accessibility features, there's quite a lot going on. You'll be able to ask Copilot to turn on narrator to open voice access, to turn on magnifier, to change text size, to start live captions, to turn on high contrast, to start voice typing. So I think, um, especially as an accessibility feature with the rollout of version 24H2, um, having those accessibility features being available through Copilot may be a nice move in the right direction for obviously those um, who cannot maybe use their keyboard or their mouse, just to mention one or two examples. So we are going to get a couple of improvements when it comes to Copilot because as mentioned Microsoft is focusing on integrating Copilot a lot more uh, into the Windows uh, operating system and we are going to see a lot of more AI powered features rolling out with version 24H2. So I just wanted to put it out there because since the rollout of build 26058 last week Microsoft had updated the blog post to include those improvements for Copilot and in total Copilot now with these latest improvements um, now supports over 29 different tasks. And obviously because Microsoft is focusing more on AI, we can expect more capabilities to roll out uh, to Copilot in future updates for Windows. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.